All right, we're gonna start off by terminating a typical tight buffer cable. It looks like this. All of them are in their own buffer right here. First things first, we gotta strip it back. Now it doesn't matter how far back you go, but the more you strip it back, the easier it's gonna be for you later. Fan out kits are 25 inches, but just for this example, I'm gonna do it a little bit less. Doesn't have to be exact, just about this long. There's two ways to do it. You can start back where you want it. If your cable allows, you just ring it a little bit, put a nick in it, or if the cable is giving you a hard time or you're worried about nicking the fiber, here's the other way. You just start off on the end and just peel it back. Grab a hold of it and pull it. Sometimes they'll have a rip cord in them. This one's a red string. Peel it straight back. Problem with this is it grabs a hold of this yarn. Now this yellow yarn, this is Aramid yarn. This is the same material they make bulletproof vest out of. Bulletproof vest. And you can see here, it's gotten tangled up. So now I'm pulling my rip cord and the yarn at the same time. You just gotta pull extra hard, but your red string's gonna crack before the yarn does. And it just gets more and more tough. So if it allows, just go back to where you actually wanna break it, nick it a little bit. This one, don't bend it so hard, a little more delicate at this point. It's okay if you break it over here because you're already at the end of the cable, just do it again. But this one, you only wanna bend it a little bit and pull them away. This is a 12 strand. So we have blue, orange, green, brown, slate, white, red, black, yellow, violet, rose, and aqua. So with this yarn, there's two things you can do. You can just cut it, get it out of the way, just get it out of your life. Or what I like to do is use it to simulate a strength member, because now you pull on this yarn and this cable, the fiber's okay. And you don't have to put a tie wrap super tight right here or anywhere else. You can tie your, your yarn down as tight as you want and your cable is supported, but we don't need this much. Let's say like this much, that's fine. This is gonna be a little bit tough to cut. You're gonna have to work at it. You want some nice sharp scissors. And then for me, it works out best to spin it, to make it into kind of a, just a quick rope instead of a whole bunch of loose yarn. And then so that it doesn't untwist itself, just put a knot, a simple knot right at the end. And now when you go to land this in whatever your fiber box or your fiber cabinet is, you can secure this. So now the next step, we gotta get these dressed. There's two ways to do it. I like to put all the boots and all the hardware on first because I typically forget and I'll get done terminating and realize I missed a boot and then I have to start over. Today we're gonna do multi-mode. This is a box of Corning connectors. These are Unicams. I like these, they're easy. They're, every brand has their own version, but it's kind of a similar process. You take all these, put the boot on first. That's this piece doesn't matter which order you do it. When I'm done, I put it my next finger. So I haven't done these, these I have done. That way I don't miss one and I also don't put two boots on one. Okay, now slide these up carefully. You wanna do it careful because if they're tangled down here and you push on it and break the fiber, the next step is these locking claws. Next time, Gadget. Make the teeth face towards the end of the cable because they're going to grab onto the connector at the end. Okay, now we push all these back, but you gotta be careful. You don't want these to fall off while you're doing other terminations. If I hold on to this and let go, see they're already trying to jump off already. We don't want that to happen while we're terminating because you won't know which color and then you gotta go look through all of them or you'll just forget it. So you can either take it into a big comfortable loop like this and leave it like that. And I'll just work on these. Or if you got tape, that's a little better. Just a little piece on the end and you don't have to be too exact because you want it to be easy to come off later. And now these can't come off. So now the next step, get your termination kit. For these corning connectors, you need a corning kit. You can do it without it, but it's a lot easier with it. Here's my kit, get your termination tool, snips or scissors, a marker, wire strippers, cleaner, wipes, and a cleaver. Now for this one, you'll want this chip. You can swap it out with this one for different types of fiber but you're gonna want this chip and you're also gonna want it with the 900 showing. You push this part down, that releases this, and now this opens up and you can swap this piece out, but you want it with the 900 showing. And then there's a little magnet right here that grabs onto here, it's on both sides. It'll line up and snap in there. And you want it flush. Close this, I like to push this down while I do it, but you gotta be real careful. Make sure it's all the way down. I wiggle it like this a little bit to make sure it's grabbed on real tight. You want these to move freely. Take your wire strippers. They've got different size indicators. The big one, a medium, and the small one. 
Now these should be factory set so you can't squeeze them too hard. You can't overdo it. So don't be afraid, don't be scared. All right, this book comes with every kit and it lines out exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So we'll start with step one. So get your kit ready to go. Put your right pieces in. If you're gonna use an LC, you want this one that says LC. If you're gonna use an SC or an ST, you're gonna use the one that says SC and also says ST. This is the same connector, it's just one image twice. There's a little notch on it. You put it in your kit and then you load it up. This is 900. This is fan out. This is jacketed cable. It's got the yellow yarn in it. It's one piece of yarn for every fiber. Fan out, we're gonna do later. You have to do the fan out yourself. You won't just walk up to a cable and it's ready to go fanned out. That's the one that's loose tube and then you put it in a fan out buffer. Then there's 900, that's what we're working on. So we're gonna go to 2A. There it is, 900 tight buffer. So we're gonna use this, 900. Can't stick out, keep it flush. We're gonna put that boot on and we're gonna put that piece on. Then you wanna measure it 40 millimeters or more. Now this shows to mark it with the Sharpie. We can do that once just to give you an example. There's a retractable Sharpie here. These kits have a little ruler. So we just take it back to here, anywhere over 40. So we can go to 50 or 60. We'll just say 45 and then we'll just put a little Sharpie mark right there. And that's where we need to strip it back. After a while, you can just eyeball it and that's close enough. If you use the big one, nothing happens. You're gonna use the middle. You wanna start just a little piece at a time to see how your fiber is. Every manufacturer is a little different. So we'll start just a little piece and just pull straight away, 90 degrees. Hold your fiber steady and pull the cutters away or hold your stripper steady and pull the fiber away. You don't wanna go like this because then you'll make an arc if you do both hands at the same time. Just start a little piece at a time. If it's going good for you, you can take bigger bites. Sometimes it's just real tough and constant steady pressure. I'm squeezing this as hard as you want to. You can squeeze it all the way down or just where it gets a bite. You can't overdo it with these wire strippers if they're made correctly. I like to use these. It's what comes in the kits now and you can buy these locally. Now we've got the jacket off. There's a fiber there. You can see it shining now, but that's not the fiber yet. That's a plastic coating. That's an acrylic coating, they call it acrylite. So we need to get that coating off. So now we're gonna use the smallest notch. This one, you want to start all the way as close as you can to the jacket and do it one time. One time. That's what came off. You can wipe it with your finger one time. That's the actual fiber. Before we get too far along, we're gonna load up our tool. Take this, make sure this is the right setting. It says LC, if we were doing a different style, we would have to swap it out with this. Turn it on, push the red button. Now we take our connector. Take this off, you'll wanna save it, so put it in the shallow bin, because it's easier to dig out. This one's gonna be trash, so you take this off, throw it away. Now don't let any dust get in this hole. If something does, go ahead and throw it away. Throw this thing in the trash, and try to keep this clean. This one's not as critical. You can clean it yourself. There's a hole here. You can see it move. See, now it's just an open slot but with this red button pressed, now it's a solid piece. Squeeze this one. As you squeeze this, this goes up. So raise that up, put the back end down in that hole until it gets all the way seated, and then carefully let this down. Sometimes you might not be paying attention and this will be sideways, and that'll hit the tip of your connector and get it dirty. So you get it lined up, bring it all the way down. Now you take this all the way down, push it pretty hard, until it clicks. Now you can close the lid. Still, make sure you don't get any dirt in here, any dust or anything. All right, so now we gotta clean this fiber. Take your cleaner. I like to put this down in here, put this up in here, get a new rag, fold it. So you got a nice square. These will pump, and it doesn't take much. One or two pumps. I am Hans. Yeah, I'm, I'm Franz, and we, we are here to pump. You are. It evaporates very quickly. Hold this carefully, wrap this around. You wanna work on it back here on the jacket, not here up on the fiber, but work on the jacket. Once you got a good hold with your fingers, hold it here and just go real smooth all the way down. Spin it a little bit and do it again. Sometimes it'll squeak, sometimes it won't. That doesn't matter. You take your cleaver, push both buttons and hold them down. Oh. Don't let go. Take your fiber and carefully line it all the way up in that hole. 
and it should come out the other side. There it is. Push it until it bows up a little bit. Once it bows up, let go of your black. Then your red. Now push this one down real hard and let go. Now hold down your black only. This comes out and it's been cut. If this touches anything whatsoever, you have to start over. You can't clean this. You can't do anything else to it. You have to start all over. You have to cut it, strip it, wipe it down, and put it in the cleaver again. And now very carefully, don't let this bump into anything, but just get right in the middle. Just line it right in that hole. And sometimes when you push these in, they won't go all the way. It'll go about halfway and get kind of stuck and you can't push it in. If you try too hard, it'll break off inside and you have to throw it away. If that happens, you can just do this once or twice and all you're doing, it's rolling this cam around. So we'll open it back up. Push this in here till it bows up a little bit. Squeeze this and turn this crank. This crank will pinch that collar right there and now it's locked in. And the laser is shining through there. If we take the other end of our fiber, you can see it shining. Once we take this out of the tool, see it turns off. There's a laser in here. If we close this, you can see the laser on here. So now we know it's a good termination. This is only flashing because of the demonstration I just did. This should not be on unless your battery's going dead. But hold this down with your hand. Hold it down at the bottom and squeeze this again. Don't let the, the connector will try to ride up with it. Don't let that happen. You want to keep it down here because if it's stuck in here, when you go to pull it out, you're going to pull it. You'll, you'll end up pulling it like this. You want it to come straight off. All right, now that that's terminated, this is done. It's on there. It's locked in. This has been bent and it's crimped on. See, this is an, uh, one that hasn't been used yet. It's perfectly round. So now you want to take that cap. You put it in this shallow bin so it's easy to dig out and carefully put it back on until you're done with all of the terminations. This purple piece, you don't need it. This is the cleaver. You see the fiber you cut, it's still in there. This is very dangerous because it'll stab you. break off in your skin and it's a splinter that you can't remove. You'll just get a callus and then maybe one day it'll grow out or maybe not. So what you should do, take a piece of tape, fold it back over on itself, set that down somewhere, grab a hold of the fiber and press just the red one. There's that fiber that's cut off, stick it on that tape. Now it's there, you can't see it, but it's stuck on there and I don't have to worry about it. And then when I'm done with my whole project, I can take this piece of tape fold it over and throw it in the trash and I don't have random pieces that I can poke my finger or get in my eye. When you make your termination, always make sure that you clean it. Even though I just made these, before I mate them together, I gotta clean them. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Say for example, if I was gonna put them together like this in a coupler, you use one of these. Put that on there, ram it once or twice. This has a thread that goes to the tip. Every time you push it, that thread rolls across and wipes everything off oil dirt whatever when you put these together there's such a such a small amount of glass that's touching that even just a little bit of pressure on that small of the surface area multiplies and adds up real quick to where you're putting nearly a ton of psi onto glass let me show you what i mean these connectors on the tip when you look at these they look pretty flat but they're not, they're rounded if you look at them closely. So up close, that's this right here. And the fiber, it's the actual fiber where the laser goes down is right here. So when you take another one and you line it up, they're touching like that. That right there, that is very tiny. This right here that's touching is about eight microns. Your hair on your head is about 70 to 80. The glass that you can actually see that I was showing you that was shiny, it's 125 here to here. 
that's 125 microns wide. But then there's an inner core of different glass that's only eight microns. This right here, this is a little better. This is 62 and a half, but you still need to be very careful. When you put the fiber in here, you put a fiber in the back, that tool, all it's doing is rolling this over. And what that's doing, there's a cam, a cam device in there. Looks about like this on the inside. When you run the fiber in, it's lining it up. When you roll it, it looks like that to where there's a tiny gap. When you roll it, it locks it in place. When you first get it, when it's brand new, it's gonna look like this. Your fiber can just go right in and goes all the way through and it's easy. But then when it rolls, now it's got a, a tiny gap because it's not centered and now it's locked into place. And the fiber's coming through and it just barely fits right in through there. And then your final step compresses this collar right on the jacket. The jacket sits about in here, the cam rolls, locks it into place, and your fiber goes up to here. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions, but this should get you started.